Mm. And when I saw my honey, my, my husband, like, I've never seen anything like that. When did you meet him? Like, what was the situation? How did you meet? We met, um, when did we meet? What year was this? 20, oh gosh, 2015. Okay. We met in 2015. Okay. Um, Where were you? We were actually in California. Okay. And the crazy thing is we started talking early at first. Mm -hmm. um, we were chatting a little bit and then we had our first in-person meeting okay. before we, so before we met in person, we were chatting a little bit. And when he met in person, it was the craziest thing because I was trying to make sure I'm doing this right. Cause mm -hmm. mind you, I hadn't met a guy at this point. I hadn't talked to a guy or anything at this point. So I'm like, this is like, you know, it's a guy in general. And then and he always hosts, he was like, well, cause I'm like, <laughs> well, when we were meeting, I'm like, I also was looking at it from a friendship perspective, <gasps> you know, Sierra. <laughs> I'm just saying like, you know, the build up before you get there. And he was like, what friendship? He's like, I don't want to look for no friend, you know? So we joke about that. I but, love it. Because I want to be like, really like, best buds and like, like, like fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, what, what you talking about? I mean, but he was cute though, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you know, we're we gonna start, we're gonna go on phases kind of thing. Right. But when we met in person, um, the first time in person we talked um, was actually at my place. Oh. And, you know, the it was kind of the, not kind of, but it, it was the best thing for the both of us, we felt, because even though we were, you know, meeting as mm -hmm. friends and all that stuff, <laughs> even we're doing day. that, it's not a you day. know, <laughs> he, my son was there and my dad was there. So see the friendship perspective. Oh yeah, you really were no. like, me and my. He's probably like, oh my god, I'm meeting the dad. And no, you're like, no, 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 you're just a homie. No, 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 no. We actually talked about it, and you know, what did he say to me? He was like, well, I'm gonna have to meet him anyways. Like, <laughs> Wes was very like, I love it, confident, like, oh, very. So I'm like, you know, so we meet, and again, that's not that's not like a traditional way. I'm not telling someone to do that. Yeah. But because it's he and I, mm -hmm. you know, your public figures in our world, unfortunately. Oftentimes, I think if you jump, you put the cart before the horse before mm -hmm. you are officially together, the world puts this pressure on you. And this, it's just become something else that it, it kind of like gets in the way of what, you know, the true, like the true um, thing is that's there could be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we just were being private, basically. Love we it. were gonna go out to eat dinner and then we kind of like, we just, let's keep it in. What did you guys do? So we just talked and we were supposed to have dinner. <laughs> Food was like, belly was like, content even though it was hungry it was content like you know because we were like talking and talking and talking and it was crazy everything that we talked about like we were aligned on like and i'm not gonna lie to you it was one point in time we were talking and he was talking to me and i wasn't hearing nothing he was saying because i was like he's so beautiful like i'm looking at him i'm like he was like gorgeous like because i didn't like look i didn't look him up. i didn't want to know anything about like him before we met right so I'm just like, like, wow. Yeah, no, I was. I was literally just sitting there like, he's talking, I'm like, mm-hmm. You're like, oh wait, but just runs, yeah, just yeah, runs, yeah. just Ooh, runs, no. shit. But the words are going like this, whew, over my head. And so, yes, you he's know. He's like, do you agree? You're like, uh-huh. Exactly. Oh, uh, what'd yeah. you say? Yeah, right. love that, for sure. I mean, I'm hearing what he's saying. I'm in the conversation, <laughs> but I can't remember all that we were saying, you know, so. He's looking great. It was oh nice. God. So we just sat and talked Dude. and I knew, and I said this the other day, when I when I was talking to him, I was like, this is something different. Mm -hmm. I knew like that I'd never felt what I felt in that moment. I knew mm -hmm. this was a different man that I was talking to than, you know, I just knew, like I just, knew, it, it was yeah. different. Like so much to the point that I called Yoli, my best friend, I called her after and I said, Yoli, I was like, I don't want to jinx anything. I was like, but I think he's, and she goes, the one. And I go, yes. Like, I, and I've never said that in my life. Dude. Never said that in my life. So. It was meant to be. Without a doubt. But without a doubt. <laughs> what was it about him that really impressed you that day? It was, you know what? His conversation, how he talked about life. Mm. It's also a feeling too. You know, it's kind of hard to put in words. But I know I know what I'm talking to. Like I said, those taste buds are activated. Like I'm talking to like every sense, everything that I had on the palate was like stim. It was stimulated. It was like yeah. clear. Like um, you know. And so I just knew. Like even how he talked to my dad, mm -hmm. you know, and my son was like moving around. And at some point in time, like the, he's holding him. Like there was actually this funny thing. <laughs> Y'all think we ever told by this, but. 
where there's this chair that's like in my living in my um kitchen and the chair is like about to fall over and future is literally my son is he's right there and literally Russ like slides in the socks catches the chair it honestly no it's this may sound dramatic but no lie he slides over catches the chair and i'm like okay <laughs> okay <laughs> superman we got a superman in the bed. No, i was like no but you Die. know you're literally sitting there like no it was just everything no it was everything good. about everything, was good. everything like there wasn't one thing that wasn't yeah. something like yeah do you know what i mean like, i know everything. what you're saying too and i think it's important because obviously like you said which i love that you're explaining after a breakup of what you know you don't want anymore and you have that moment within yourself you quickly align of like whoa i gotta get my shit together like yeah. i didn't like how i felt i didn't like this this yep. this this or i liked this and i want to bring this into my next relationship whatever yeah. it is but then when you meet that person especially when you've had maybe the not like the healthiest of relationships before yeah it's a feeling of like you still have those like giddy butterflies like we said like you're yeah. drooling in the corner yeah but it's, yeah but it's you, there's a sense of like calmness and I remember yeah. I, I felt it with my fiance because I it was like he is kept it keeps me on my toes and it's so exciting but it's like safe and calm and I'm not insecure and I'm not like yeah. there's still that feeling of like oh you want to impress them and have fun but yeah. it's a yeah. different level of connection where you feel like you've known them for a long time yeah you, you know what I mean it is like there's something there that you're like whoa like your soul's almost this is like corny but like it's like almost like you knew you were supposed to meet no 100 percent. Right? no 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 100% like the conversation we're having is so aligned like you're going back and forth and then you're like you're going like yes like right. everything you're saying is like a right. fiery kind of feeling to it because you're like almost talking to yourself a little bit yes. right with the giddy thing right mm -hmm. what's so amazing and I feel so blessed um because now we are in year seven of marriage Whoop. eight years of being together Whoop. Oh, baby, I'm on my way. Love it. Um, no. <laughs> is that I still get the giddy feeling. Mm -hmm. I think it's so important. We always talk about that, mm -hmm. right? Is that you still want to, like, Russ always says, you know, I, I believe his dad would say to him, like, you got to always compete. Or it's kind of one of his things that he cre came up with. But you got to always compete. Mm -hmm. So it is that thing where it's like, even though you do build a comfort over time you yeah. still want to like you know you still want to make sure you keep it like cute you want to keep it sexy mm -hmm. you want to keep it spicy mm -hmm. you want to keep it fun like we still do we do date nights every friday because oh, in football that's the off day uh -huh. so we do date nights every friday and we stay committed to that and we like look for it's something i look forward to oh. and the fires they burn like you know mm -hmm. and you still feel like dating all over the other night we played at uno at dinner and i was like and i said babe can we take the uno cards and he was like yeah we take, you know but and he played uno but there was the little things right. like, and i was like i had so much i literally told him the next morning I'm like i had so much fun like That's so, so i think it's like you know it's it's all that you know it's like you know do you do you have someone in your life that's also down to try new things with you like mm -hmm. Do they accept you at your lowest of your low points, right? Mm -hmm. Like every day is not perfect. Yeah. Like I've had moments where I look up, you know, and I'm going through a challenging time and he's the one person, the only person I can look to in that moment. And he has always has the right words to say. Like, yeah. you know, all those things are important too. Like yeah. how does a person speak to you when you're at your low, right? In your relationship, because that's key. Like it's really you too. Like so true. when it's all said and done, like it's you too and you have your kids, of course, too. But like it's the two of you. Yeah. Hi, Daddy Gang. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep in mind, that was just a little clip from the episode. If you want to watch the entire full video episode, it is linked below. It's the first thing in the description. Go watch it. It's a great episode. Love you all. I will see you next Wednesday.